Hello happy YouTubers, this is Marcelina at CasioGreens.com Can you grow orange leaf and create a new plant? Stay tuned! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Cash Your Greens, starring Marcelina Nas. Alright, so we're going to do an experiment today. We're going to propagate citrus from leaf. I haven't done this method before. Citrus can be grown by seeds, by seam cuttings, or by grafting. So we're going to try this today together and see what will happen. Are you guys ready? Let's get to it! All right, so what we're going to propagate by leaves today is this uh, citrus. This is Angelo, and as you can see, there are a lot of leaves that we can propagate here. I would probably pick 10 of them, and then I take the cuttings, uh, take the uh, leaves, and propagate the cuttings and the leaves. Okay, so let's take one cutting here. So as I mentioned in my early previ oh, my previous videos that you always uh, sterilize your pruner. So I already sterilized here. So I might take this one here and see if you guys can see that or probably this one. But the other one, the other branch has a big leaves. So I will take, hopefully I can reach this uh, branch. Now that I cut the brands I'm going to spray with alcohol always disinfect the wound okay so I have the steam here now I'm going to take these leaves and start propagating So I'm going to take this out here, make sure I have something attached, I had, I have tissue attached, see that? And we will see. So if we can root these leaves, this is probably the same as Hoya when you guys propagate Hoya leaves. I had Hoya leaf rooted and it has been a year. The, there is no growth of it. So this is probably the same thing. So we just have fun with it. That is why uh, propagation is fun. Okay. So this one here, and we probably stick the steam into the uh, propagation area. So as I said guys, I haven't done uh, rooting the leaves. Maybe you guys, uh, some of you, done this before. So if you have experienced rooting the leaves of citrus, share that experience with us and how your citrus looks like after you propagate the leaves okay so i have few leaves here i always use clonix gel to aid my propagation just a small drop So we're going to cut this. So we just cut the the end of the leaves. So this is tangelo guys. I have one tree of tangelo and I'm going to root the leaves and see what will happen. Do you think we will be successful with this type of propagation? Okay, so let's go to the propagation site. So I use the pencil here when I do my propagation, so I just 
nag-create ako. And I just put this one here. Okay, now we're going to water our propagation. So the last thing we need is going to place our lid so we can create a good moisture here. So I'm going to open this uh, window or vent. I'm not closing the vent. I just let it be so it gets moisture and then some of the moisture will be escaping out. And doing this way Especially if you forget something I always keep forgetting so that is the reason why I keep it open just in case if I don't uh, monitor all the time my propagation site propagating citrus uh, as I mentioned I haven't done that type of method of propagating the leaves but I did the lipless like what I mean like for example I will take cutting from here and then I'll cut that node here see that node and then I cut also this one so I just have one leaf but it is uh, attached to the node so I did that and it takes longer to establish into plant because it is short but at least you have a new uh, forming new growth as opposed to probably for the leaves because it's it's leaves there's nothing <laughs> to uh, i have no idea what will happen so we will see when we come back so these are my propagation guys as you can see and some of them are limes look at that so i put the yellow sticker so this is the lime i'm gonna see here look at my lime look at look at the lime see it's a new growth because it's already springtime so they started to wake up and my Meyer lemon here look at that it is blooming so I had to get rid of that flower because I don't want them to flower at this size so I will try it again uh, doing node to node and see what happened so this is my calamansi here and I take a lot of cuttings here and I notice this uh, plant I notice my citrus once I took a lot of cuttings as you can see it producing fruit look at that <laughs> so it stimulates the plant but I don't want to take too many cuts here because it could also put stress to the plant but I notice it produces fruit look at that and hopefully this fruit here all of them develop into a full size it might be because it's getting you know and there's a lot of flower blossoms here so my Meyer are my Meyer lemons fruiting so this is the tangelo citrus tree and I propagated the leaves last year in the winter months I took few leaves but only one made it and I'm going to show you here so this is the leaf look at that it's green <laughs> let's check if it is rooted so when I pull it it's tagging probably there is root 
Let's see. One eternity later. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that, guys! Holy cow! Look at that! It's rooted! Oh my gosh! First time I rooted <laughs> leaves! So I had like 10 leaves. Only one leaf survived. So I'm going to transplant this. So I'm going to place this leaf in this knit cup. And on this... Uh, Put three in and three in spot. So this is my mycoplas. I always use mycoplas here when I do the transfer. I'm going to place a little bit pins here. This is amazing. <laughs> so you can propagate a plant lipless or doing like this. It's so cute. It seems healthy. So I will Push the dirt, the media down. Okay. So I'm going to feed this uh, new propagated leaf with this citrus stone. I probably just give one scope of this. Probably this is enough to get it started so I just pull in here okay so I found this container I will probably place this here and water my citrus we'll probably put some water down okay we will see what happened with this uh, leaf Alright, so this is for today. If you enjoy watching this video, give thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you have been subscribed yet. Share this information with all your friends. And if you have questions or comments, write that below this video. If you have done this propagation before, please share your experience with us. This is my first time propagating citrus by leaves. And I propagated thin leaves. Only one leaf turned to root. So I may follow up with you guys within four years and see how this uh, leaf turn into plant. Also, we carry citrus, guys. We specialize into lime, calamandin, and Meyer lemon. Look at this one, guys. Look at this uh, calamansi. So if you need calamansi or Meyer lemon or lime, check our EB store cashew greens. Look at this one, guys. Look at that. It's already fruit here. Look at that. So I have two plants in one container. So again, check it out. Thank you for watching, guys. This is Marcelina at Cashew Greens. Stay green and grow big. Peace.